Our CM program has a long storied history of, uh, of really listening to industry and, and, and listening to students and what they want in their education. Um, and I think, uh, you know, at least our focus in recent years has been uh, on, on what a lot of people refer to as engaged learning. Uh, so specific experiences that the students have while they're at Auburn uh, that enhance their education above and beyond the classroom. I think uh, when I came to Auburn uh, in, uh, early in 2006, um, our leaders of our faculty would have told you that they saw us as uh, leaders of, of technological change in the construction industry and, and, and that's really changed tremendously uh, over the last uh, 11 or 12 years. Um, you know, what we've seen is that, is that technology is changing so fast in the industry it's really impossible for us as educators to be leaders of that, that we have become, uh, when, we're, when we're good, we've become fast followers of that technology. And we really do rely on uh, firms like Procore to help us uh, be fast followers. And so that industry connection, that connection with uh, uh, specialized companies who, who do make software is very vital to, to us continuing to prepare our students to be ready to go out uh, and use the most current and latest technologies in the best ways. I'm trying to give our graduates a, an area to contribute uh, in, in the construction industry. And I've, I'll tell them in classes sometime, I said, listen, a lot of times they're looking for you to contribute in the areas of technologies. And this is a, a spot that you can distinguish yourself in. You know, if you get adept at technologies and different technologies and can, uh, can adapt that to your companies, they're wanting you to contribute in that area. And it's, in a, and it's, in, it's a place for you to distinguish yourself and contribute significantly. We, we have a student right now that's over at Falcon Stadium. And, you know, he's kind of a technology guy, BIM coordinator type guy, VDC type guy, and um, I think when you have a complex structure like that, his skill set is elevated to, to a point where, as I understand it, that he's kind of one of the main guys on that job. And, uh, you know, they're doing coordination all the time. You need a BIM guy to be able to do that. And so his unique skill set of knowing technology has allowed him to leapfrog his peers.